Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to make a game called a Space Invaders game. So a Space Invaders game is just like a space, in space there's rocket and there's some enemies falling from the sky and the rocket has to shoot his bullets to kill the enemies. And that's what we're making it today. Let's go. First things first, delete the scratch cat. And I will choose a backdrop. And I'll pick space. And I'll pick stars right here. It's a nice one. Okay, we'll choose a sprite. And I will. find a spaceship okay so we have a rocket ship here it has an animation cool so actually I don't need these animations I will prefer rocket ship E. Okay. So now we have rocket ship and this is way too big. So it'll set the size to fifty. Okay. Now we'll choose a sprite and I will pick a nice enemy. Um ship B. Yes, I will pick this gobo. Sorry, I have to pick it. And of course, I will delete this. And the gobo will be size 52. Okay. So I have two, so two. So we'll run Dreamfire clicked in the rocket ship. I will go to x zero y negative one forty and okay, that's nice. I'll move will code the right and left movement so forever if key right arrow pressed we will change x by 8 we'll duplicate that again if key left arrow pressed we will change x by negative 8 so let's test that right left right left that is so good now we will um, oh and one more sprite I forgot I'll just paint this one and I will make a bullet. Okay, yellow, maybe white. Okay, that's nice. Call it bullet. Okay, so in the gobo, I'll put in a one green flag clicked. We will hide the original sprite because we're going to make clones and forever. We will wait one second we will create cloud myself and actually I will wait pick random one to three seconds okay now when I start as clone 
we will show and we will go to random position and I will set Y to 180 let's test that and ok there's one gobo two gobo, three gobos ok so now we will put in a repeat until Y position is less than is less than negative one seven nine. We will change Y by negative five and we'll delete this clone. Let's test that. And yes, the gobo is falling. So good. So now we'll add a code to the bullet. When we right click, just the same thing as the gobo's right. Hide forever. If key space pressed, then create clone on myself. And we'll wait one second. When I start as clone, it will show, go to rocket ship, and repeat until Actually, I'll put in repeat until touching edge. We will change Y by 15 and we'll delete this clone. Okay, let's test that. And it looks good, but the problem is now look at the bullet, it shows in front of the rocket ship. That's not what we want. So we'll do that with a go to back layer when I start to clone. Okay, so now we have a nice laser. So now the problem is we can't shoot the gobos. Okay, so put in an if touching bullet. Um, delete this clone ok ok that's nice oh and I actually want the lasers to be faster and the reload time must be 0 0.8 something like that that's nice ok so we have shooting gobo okay so now we want to add score we'll make another variable called score full sprites gobo when I when we right clicked we'll set score to zero if touching bullet just immediately change score by one and then repeat until y position less than negative 179 we will we will um, change score by one let's test that oh you'll change score by negative one okay let's test that shoot gobos and when I leave a gobo going down it goes down Okay, so thank you for watching guys, and uh, I forgot one more thing, um, in Gobo 2, if touching rocket ship, stop all, so it's game over, let's test that, okay, so now, thank you for watching guys, please leave a like, Comment, share and subscribe 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Play around with this. Until school is 10.